Hey there, my name is Katie and this is the How To Be A Minimalist YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me, I hope that you enjoy, settle in, check out some videos, and don't forget to hit subscribe. I used my Fitbit, pulled it out, dusted it off, charged it up, because I wanted to know how long I was walking as I go around our little RV trail here every day. I tracked it and he was like, that's not a mile one loop, there's no way. So, Fitbit, we're gonna try it again, and I'm going to use my All Trails app to also log it. So I'm thinking that I'm right and he's wrong, but we'll check it out. Besides figuring out if it really is a mile around the loop or not, we are going to be eating some food today, and I'd love to take you along for that kind of thing. A lot of it is gonna be food prep this morning because I have a very busy evening and I wanna make sure that I get healthy food in later on. So I'm gonna just, mostly I wanna to talk to you about the lunch. So that's what I'm gonna focus on, but I'm probably gonna show you what I'm doing for dinner and breakfast too. Might as well, right? If we're already at it, we might as well just film the whole thing and let you know what's going on. Let's go. or books or anything like that when I'm chopping up vegetables. There is a ton of vegetable prep when it comes to being plant-based and sometimes it becomes very monotonous. I do not do well with monotonous tasks, generally speaking. Those repetitive tasks like doing the dishes or folding laundry. The laundry is never done. Literally, as soon as you're done doing the laundry, you're done with your day and you take off dirty clothes and you put them in the laundry again. It's aggravating. <laughs> See, this is why I don't fold the laundry, guys. How am I supposed to fold it? Anyway, rant over. I'm gonna listen to music, chop up vegetables for both dinner and lunch. I am gonna make my potato soup, which the recipe, the full recipe, is in my kid-friendly plant-based meals video. I also am going to prep all of my vegetables that I'm gonna eat at lunchtime. All the vegetables that are in my little bowl, plate, thingy, are going into my lunch. Everything that's going into the Instant Pot Liner are gonna go into that soup and become delicious. So let's get chopping.
about caloric density right now for just a quick moment. Basically, I had an epiphany when I was walking the other day and thinking about beans and how much I miss them because I love beans. I grew up eating tons of beans as part of a staple of my diet. I love them. I know they're so good for us, nutritious, filling, very inexpensive, all that sort of thing. And my epiphany came when I realized that I wasn't losing weight eating beans because all of my meals that include beans are like super starch heavy instead of having a lot of those non-starchy veggies that just lower the caloric density. When I eat burritos, you have the corn, which is corn tortillas, which, you know, obviously corn is a starch and it's also processed. So it's calorically more dense than if I ate that same amount in just whole corn kernels. On top of that, I have beet rice and beans that I would fill it with, with just a little sprinkling of lettuce and maybe a little bit of salsa and there is my burrito, my taco, whatever you want to call it. That is very much higher in caloric density than if that were filled up with a bunch of vegetables or if I got rid of the corn tortillas and then ate a bunch of vegetables and then the rice and the beans. So my theory is that I have been eating lots more calories in those dishes and not thinking about the caloric density and just blaming it on the beans Wrongfully accused beans, wrongfully accused user error. I've been adding beans back into my diet, really enjoying the variety, but at the same time, I'm much more mindful and trying to get lots and lots of those non-starchy vegetables in while I'm adding beans into my diet. This lunch that I'm going to make for you is one that I've been eating ever since I kind of had my little epiphany about burritos and beans and all that sort of thing. It is so good. I love it. I have eaten it multiple times in the last week and I'm not tired of it yet. The little salsa cashew cream uh, mixture that I'm going to make is totally optional. You definitely do not have to do that, but it adds a nice little flavor to it and a little creaminess, which is nice as well as some healthy overt fats. If you're trying to avoid overt fats, then definitely leave it out and just opt for the salsa or you can ditch that all together. The rice is in my opinion, the real winner here. I love this rice so much. It reminds me of a kind of like Mexican ca cafe cilantro lime rice. So I hope you try it out. And if you do enjoy it, please let me know in the comments. Let's get cooking though. And you can see how I'm getting more of those non-starchy vegetables into my diet, trying to lower the caloric density while still getting all of those beautiful nutrients and supporting my weight loss goals and all of that sort of thing while getting a wide variety of foods to eat that are delicious and healthy. Also, I was right. My husband's so wrong. I went and I tracked using my Fitbit as well as all trails my little path. Now, my Fitbit was actually way less generous. I don't know if my stride is different or what, but I don't know. It's also old. The loop is 1.4 miles according to all trails. I was walking really slow because I had a stitch in my side like halfway through, but I was like, I gotta track this. Anyway, so then um, my Fitbit, yep, it said it was 1.23 miles. My husband's probably not gonna watch this video, but he's wrong, just had to say it. I don't know why, mostly because I think it's funny. Anyway. I feel really great about um, being right. <laughs> it makes me feel good to know that I'm getting that much exercise in every day. Most days I do two of those loops. So that's either, you know, it's, it's over two to potentially three miles. But I also have been doing a lot of days um, like the full loop and then I do like an inner loop. So I'll do the full loop twice and then I'll do the inner loop once. And I know that would be three miles. So I am pretty happy about that. It's good to know that I'm getting my exercise in, getting my body moving, and that I'm getting a good amount of mileage in. It's just so nice to move my body and to have this as a daily habit in my life. It's nice to know that that's there and available for me and something that I've kind of developed into a habit in my life. I've got one and a half cups of rice in here and I just use like jasmine rice. And I'm pouring in about one and three quarters cup of water. For my seasonings, I have one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, I have half teaspoon of dried oregano, I have half teaspoon of garlic, like minced garlic or whatever, granulated garlic, I think that's what it really is, and then half teaspoon of paprika, as well as half teaspoon of cumin, cumin, whatever you want to say. I think it's cumin, but whatever. We're gonna dump that in there. 
Once this is done cooking, we are going to add in most of a lime. I am reserving this to sprinkle over my little lunch. And then this is a half cup of chopped cilantro. You can add this in if it doesn't taste like soap to you. I'm also gonna reserve a little bit of this to sprinkle fresh on top. We're gonna save this until it's all done cooking. I'm gonna stick this in the Instant Pot right now. It's gonna go on high pressure for three minutes. I'm gonna let it naturally release pressure for about 10 minutes and then we'll give it a stir, throw these in, and eat. For the creamy potato soup that I'm making, I love to add in a can of coconut milk. If I'm not worried about weight loss at the time, I will add in a can of coconut milk. It makes it so creamy and delicious. But uh, I think a little bit of a better option is to add in some cashew cream. So I am going to make that to add into the potato soup to make it a little bit creamier and make it a little bit more of the cheesy texture that my family used to really, really enjoy. The other thing I'm doing is I'm gonna make a salsa sour cream mix that my family really likes, but I just love it. And I just need a little bit to drizzle on the top. Sometimes I don't eat this lunch dish with anything on top at all, but if you make this, it just takes it kind of to the next level and it's really delicious. Since those both have cashews at the base, I'm just gonna do kind of both of them at the same time. I'm going to double up a little bit on how much I make for each, as well as double up on the salsa cashew mixture, and we'll just use that throughout the rest of the week. eating and then we're gonna head out before we head out I'm gonna make myself a little drink that I'm gonna drink while everyone is hanging out and doing their thing I'm gonna have a little alone time and edit this video I've never actually had coffee before but dandy blend looked so good I saw high carb Hannah make something in her Instagram story the other day and I was like okay I've got to try that so I ordered some dandy blend and oh my goodness it is so good I've been making myself this little drink and it's really delicious today so I've got the smoothie the little dandy blend delight can we call it that <laughs> um, and then I also have the rice and vegetables that I ate for lunch and then I'll be eating the potato soup later on with my family that's about all I'm gonna eat I'm gonna close out this video thanks so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed and remember it's all about the experiences not the stuff we'll see you next time mm -hmm.